What's up, guys? J.R. Raymond back again, coming to you from Classic Lanes in Rochester Hills, Michigan, inside MRB Classic Pro Shop, where today we're going to talk about the new Honey Badger Extreme here. Uh, we already laid it out. We already put holes in it. We got it at 55 by 5 by 55. Uh, we drilled these to complement the halos a little bit that I have in my bag that I really like. So we went similar. We went a little bit stronger pin position, and then we went a little bit stronger numbers overall. So the halo, I think, was uh, 70 by 5.5 by 60, and now we're going 55 by 5 by 55. So a little bit lower first and third angle to give us uh, just a little bit earlier, a little bit smoother, a little bit stronger reaction, uh, which may force us to open our angles up a little bit more than normal. But we're going to take a look. We'll go out here on the lanes and beware. I am going to have to narrate you through it. I'm not going to be able to talk to you while I'm throwing shots because they have the music blaring. Uh, they got the holiday music going for the you know, the senior leagues and the, and the holiday parties coming through here right now. So uh, we're going to be narrating through these next couple of videos that you're going to see. So, but anyway, we're going to take this out there, out on the lanes, and uh, we'll see you here in a minute. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. So we're going to take a look at this ball. Uh, for those of you who have seen my reviews before, we always start a little bit further right, and we continue to move left and uh, change hand positions as we go left to let you see what the ball is really capable of doing. Um, so we always start in that anywhere between 10 and 15 range to uh, get into the what we would call the track area, uh, throwing it out to the track area, I guess you would call uh, that 8, 9, 10 area, or even just a little bit further right. And we try to chase it in to see how the ball reacts as you go left. Uh, and this ball, to my eye, looked pretty good. My issue early, as you see in this shot, is it actually picks up the lane a little bit, little bit earlier. So it causes me to have to open my angles up. And I really didn't catch on that to the need to open my angles until a little bit later in some shots when I started to get left and I noticed I couldn't quite get the ball to the right where I wanted it to. Um, the ball just seemed to pick up a little bit too quick. Um, so... I started to open my angles up a little bit and start throwing the ball a little bit steeper through the front to get it going to the right. Uh, and then that's when it started to really start to look good uh, going down the lane. And then it still continued down lane as well. So it's not the cleanest ball I've ever seen uh, through the front part of the lane. And clean meaning, you know, where it doesn't see any friction, where it just waits until the back part of the lane before it starts to make a motion. In this video, throughout the video, you'll actually see the ball, you know, if you pay a close enough attention, you actually see the ball try to pick up a little bit before it even gets to the arrows. So it is creating some traction. It's creating some, you know, basically snow tires a little bit early, uh, which is what forces me to open my angles up. But the cool thing is, is once I started to open my angles up, it then, it's not like it lost energy. It's not one of those bowling balls where I had opened my angles up and the ball would puke on the back part of the lane and just flat 10 or, you know, swish a five pin in there. It, it actually continued. It hit the spot and still rolled off of it. And I think a lot of it had to do with the layout too, because it's uh, because it's that, that layout that I really like. It allowed me to continue to get the ball to go still go through the pins down lane. Whereas this one, you can see I just got that one a little bit left. Um, and it didn't want to sit there. I mean, this strong, this ball has been, it, it was, it was reacting very strongly. Uh, and this is another example of, I had to get the ball going to the right early to have any chance to strike. So, um, and again, right back to back shots, I didn't get it going right fast enough. And you can see it picking up there right in front of the arrows. And then it's still reading all the way through the arrows, all the way through the middle of the lane. And, uh, it, it just, it's too strong. So here, now in these next few shots, you'll actually start to see me start to move far enough left and throw it to the right. You see how steep that one was, and it floats through there. Then it, once I get steep enough, it finally floated through there, and then it just made a strong motion down lane and splits the 8-9. So that was really cool. Once I figured that out, I was able to see some motion that uh, I was able to compare it to some of my other balls. And I always compare bowling balls to either an IQ Tour, or lately it's been my Halo line, because my Halos are the balls that I use a lot of. Um, you see that one kind of, that one's what I was talking about with the blend where it bleeds off and kind of just stops, hook stops and deflects. That one, the ball almost took out the 10 pin there. But um, yeah, as I started going left, I started to compare it a little bit to my halo. Uh, the halos are a little bit cleaner, a little bit smoother overall, not as strong. So I think this ball is going to be like a great step up when I need some, when the halos just aren't quite strong enough. 
I would have this ball to go to. So I'm kind of excited about that because I didn't really have a step up from the Halos at this point. Uh, I had the Halos and then the Idol line, which are my two strongest pieces. So um, this ball actually will step in there pretty good. Because you can see as I go left, it's still, you know, I'm starting to get my hand around it here a little bit. And it still tries to go through the pins. That one pretty much runs the, the you know, right in between the 8 and the 9, just a little bit to the right of the 8 pin. But it still looks pretty good and doesn't deflect a ton so the carry is still phenomenal with this ball Let's see what this one does yeah that one really picked up you can see now super steep angle throwing it straight right and it just completely goes left off of it you know so this is a solid ball that'll allow you to go left and then a solid ball that'll allow you to play straighter as well you watch this last shot we're going to go back right and we're going to go up the lane here and it actually did pretty well. Even though it was a closed angle, it still stayed on line, stayed on target. Even though I four pinned, it still stayed on line and gave itself a chance to strike. So that was pretty cool to see. All right, there you have it. That is the Honey Badger Extreme solid version. A little bit later, maybe the next couple of days, you'll see the Pearl version as well. That video is done. Just have to edit it a little bit and put it together like this one is. Uh, but you'll see that one here probably tomorrow. Um, but that's the Honey Badger solid. It's a great step up for any of the stronger pieces that I have, like the Halos, the Idols, stuff like that. Uh, and it's that asymmetrical piece that really likes to get the core in motion. You can see it's a little bit earlier than some of my other pieces. Um, but if you're looking for something a little bit earlier, a little bit stronger, then this line is going to be for you, this, this Honey Badger Extreme. And I will give you a little bit of a, a look into uh, the Pearl actually is going to be going to be fit just like this one. I drilled the Pearl exactly like this one, and it does give you a little bit cleaner look than what this solid one does. So that's all I got for you today. I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below. Um, and head over to BowlerX.com and get yours today as they are for sale over there right now. Get yourself a little bit of a discount using somebody's code. If my code works, you can use JRX. It may not work. It is excluded in some items, some of the new items. So uh, it's worth a shot though. You never know. Um, but make sure to uh, head over and check everything out over there. And uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year. We got the new year coming up. Uh, we just finished Christmas yesterday. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays to everybody and all the other holidays that you celebrate. Um, but until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks.